There have been many therapeutic breakthroughs in myeloma over the last 25 years, and none is more promising than our recent ability to harness the immune system to kill off multiple myeloma cells. So what is it that MMRF is doing right now to ensure that that research leads to cures for myeloma patients? Well, I'll describe for you an initiative that we call the Immune Atlas. And this research is geared to understand exactly what each cell of the immune system is doing at a given point in time. And we're particularly excited about this approach because we can build this off of patient samples from the COMPASS study. This COMPASS study enrolled a decade ago and was really breakthrough in understanding the myeloma tumor genome. Now we can build upon the samples from those same patients to understand what their immune system was doing at the point we collected those samples. A moment about the immune system. There really is no human organ more complex than the immune system. Think about the complexity and the mystery of the brain, yet it's spread throughout our body. We are now using new tools to understand the single cells in the immune system and what they are doing wrong or doing right as myeloma develops. So research at scale like this requires standardization and uniformity. That standardization is going to make the difference in years that it takes to understand these data. So we have partnered with five universities to develop common methods to generate data and analyze that data and set a strong foundation for understanding the immune system in multiple myeloma. These centers include Emory University, Washington U St. Louis, Mayo Clinic, Mount Sinai, New York, and Beth Israel in Boston. Since 2019, these groups have worked together using COMPASS samples to develop uniform methods and uniform analytical approaches to work on these data. Now, with these uniform techniques in place, we can understand the entirety of the COMPASS data set and begin to look at clinical outcomes. And we can expand into additional data sets in which patients were treated with immune-targeted therapies specifically. So with these standards and a really strong foundation in immune biology for multiple myeloma, we are hopeful that there can be use of this information to support clinical decision-making and give each patient a chance to get the therapy that's optimal for them. Finally, I want to say thank you for supporting us in this essential work. We could not do it without you, and I look forward to updating you on future progress. <laughs>